Hello, my friends. I am so glad you are here today. We are going to be doing deep cleaning, home updates, and even some meal prep. I am so excited for today's video. I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the downstairs bathroom and I want to show you the before. Before we get in here and start really deep cleaning, I have been dreading this bathroom since we moved in. We actually moved in the weekend of the 28th of April and yeah, I, I just haven't been able to do it. I haven't been able to get it together enough to tackle this room. It has been just almost looming over my head. I knew it needed to be done. I'm embarrassed at the state of it, but the reality is, is this is just how it is. I cannot even believe I have let family come over my house with it looking like this, but like I said, that's just where we're at. So this bathroom has really just narrow uh, linen closets. All of the bathrooms, or excuse me, all of the linen closets in the house are very small and very narrow. So space is very limited here. Um, I get very overwhelmed with not knowing where to put everything. So that's another reason why I've been a little overwhelmed by the whole process. Also, when you are a content creator, everything is content. And I will be the first one to say, I will let things sit there because in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to film a video. So I've let it go so much further than I usually would because in my mind, I'm going to film a video. Um, and the reality is, like I said, I was just so overwhelmed with it all. I like the Clorox toilet ones. I have one in each bathroom. I like being able to just pull it right out and the cleaner is already built into the sponge. And then when you're done with it, you can just dispose of it. That is really nice for me. When I start cleaning and I am like ready to get things done, I like to prep. And when I prep, I want to bring all of the cleaners and everything I need, the paper towels, everything in the bathroom or wherever I'm cleaning. That helps me just kind of set the stage and start what I need to do. If I have to keep going into another room, room to get cleaners or to get something, I will get distracted most definitely and I probably won't end up finishing what I need to do. So I want to encourage you guys to have a little caddy or something in every space, every bathroom. And when you're in here, just clean it quickly. So it doesn't look as bad as mine has. Now I live in Florida and we have a well, so the water is different here. And so it gets really yucky very quick. So this was actually filmed on a Friday. Chris went with the boys to go watch a movie. So it's just me and my girl here and I wanted to tackle this rug. Hazel um, relieved herself on the rug and she's been doing so incredibly well in this house. We haven't had really any accidents, but she did go on this and it, I just can't, I cannot handle it. I am going to take it out and pressure wash it, which um, it's been a couple of days. I've already done that today. That'll be in next week's video. Oh, and a, an old orange with hair all over it. You gotta love what you find under a couch. But I wanna take this outside, pressure wash it, and get it taken care of because it is nasty. Now, this is a washable rug that I got from Target. It was about $100, which is very affordable in my opinion. However, I don't like putting these type of rugs in my washing machine. I just don't think they're made for it. The ruggable is much thinner, but this is thick. And um, so I would need like an industrial or excuse me, a commercial washing machine. I don't know where that's at and I'm not putting it in the car. So I'm gonna pressure wash it as soon as I can. But in the meantime, I got this rug for Chris to do a whole just front room 
makeover because we have our office in there or his office and he needs a space to do his Bible time and whatnot. And I want to make it really amazing and really beautiful. So for Father's Day and uh, birthday, I have got him a desk. It is being delivered. It is not here yet, but I went ahead and ordered this rug and it is beautiful, but I decided to put it here because I thought, you know what, maybe I could use it in here for the interim. And that is what I'm doing. And it is absolutely stunning. And it is so very, very soft. As you can tell, Emma loves it. So the rug is beautiful. It is, um, I think, Angela Rose and Laloy. I love Laloy's rugs, very high quality. This was very affordable. But it's a lot lighter than I remember. I actually got it for the um, little office area in the front room. Um, I got it for that, but since the dogs had messed up the other rug, I figured let's just give it a shot here. But I think it's too light. Because the furniture is so light, I'm gonna go ahead and um, Keep this here for now and then I will pressure wash the other one over there and I will keep my eyes out for something a little bit darker but this will go into the, here you go baby, this will go into the front room when I have Chris's desk come in. We're going to do a whole makeover in there for him. This is technically day three that I am tackling something. I want to go ahead and finish this bathroom so when i finished the last section of this video of the video where i was cleaning in here i actually took the toilet seat off to put the new one on but it did not fit so chris had to find some washers for me to put it on there i'm still going to have to replace the toilet which i've already got and need to put on but that was another reason why it took me so long to clean this area because I knew I wanted to replace the toilet seat. They're very old, very dated. We are going to get new toilets in here eventually. They're very low. So that'll come. I've got my pink stuff, the Miracle Bathroom Foaming Cleaner. And I like it. It's good. I don't usually buy gimmicky type things, but I love the paste so much. I figured this couldn't steer me wrong. The paste is very gritty and that can kind of rub me the wrong way, no pun intended. I do not like chalky things. It just sends me through the roof. It's one of those weird quirks I have. So I thought, you know, if I could use the foam and I can just avoid the paste altogether, then that's what I'll do. It has a pleasant smell, but it's very strong. So I'm covering my face or holding my breath. I need to put my mask on. I did get one, but it works very, very well. I like how well it cleaned up this bathroom. Now this is, these are real granite countertops. I will be replacing them because I don't particularly love the color of them. Um, not now, of course, we're gonna make do with what we have, including painting this cabinet, removing the knobs and adding some other things in here. Um, I plan on doing some board and badden or some wainscoting or something, but I have great plans in here, including some wallpaper, but that will all come in time. I'm going to continue wiping down the shower wall. This is another project I plan on doing. I don't know if I'm going to gut it completely or just have someone come in here and spray it all white. Also, 
running the tile all the way up to the ceiling I feel like would really just make this area look very grand and really really nice I also need to change the shower head that I actually already purchased but I think I'm going to give it to the boys because they need it more This is a pumice stone and I use it frequently on the toilet. Also any other type of porcelain, ceramic type of things like the uh, tub here. There is a ton of rust on here, so I'm trying to get it up. It didn't really do the, it, it got a lot of it up, but I think I'm gonna have to spray some CLR and hopefully that will kinda get rid of it all. I got this shower curtain rod and shower curtain from Lowe's. Lowe's is very close to us, so we're there a couple of times a week now. And I'm gonna take down this hanging line, clothesline here. This shower rod here, I really like it. It is supposed to be rust resistant, very easy to put up. And the curtain, I really love because you don't have to use hooks. Those hooks always get so rusty and then make the shower rod rusty i hate them but this is great look at that that is so cool to me i don't know i was just so thrilled i mean i guess that's adulting one-on-one -on -one when you get excited about shower curtains and vacuums and things like that So I'm also spraying the bathroom cleaner around the base of the toilet. If you saw my last filthy deep clean, you remember how bad the base of the toilet is. That one in my bedroom was horrible. This is pretty bad. The one upstairs where the boys have been using, it is like, oh my gosh. If I thought I was overwhelmed by this one, that one takes me to a whole new level. But we will get it done i'm gonna have to show the kids once again how to do it i did that in the last house i took each boy we had four bathrooms in that other house and so i took each boy and we cleaned a bathroom together and i showed them step by step on how to scrub it use the clorox wipes the whole nine yards so they could learn to do it on their own um, and if i say hey go clean your bathroom they can't say I don't know how to so I'm gonna have to do that again because I feel like maybe they have lost that skill if you will but uh, that is quite all right over the summer we will be learning a lot of these homemaking skills I think it is so important for boys to be learning these skills as well because not only if they are alone in the future they got to take care of themselves or they got to help their future wives they need to know how to clean a toilet they need to know how to cook they need to know how to wash dishes I'm using my steam shot. I will say that I'm not very impressed with it this go around. I don't know if maybe, I don't know, maybe if I've used other things or just some good old el elbow grease does the trick, but I wasn't wowed. I do like it for sanit sanit san sanitizing, thank you. I do like it to sanitize things, but as for getting the dirt and grime, Honestly, I feel like just some warm water and soap and a good rag or sponge does the trick. So you don't have to go out and buy this. I know I've seen a lot of people with them. I 
myself was influenced to purchase it a couple of years ago and it's been in a box for a while but I don't I'm not in love with it anymore I like my steamer for my tile the one that's um, I think it's a bristle I love that that really does a great job I think if I put the bristle on the the attachment on there on this it probably will work better but I also don't want to break my back doing it so that Bissell floor cleaner is great I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not to be honest I if I don't love it I'm not gonna keep it I've been trying to adhere to that in my life but I don't know if you're on the fence about purchasing it let me know in the comments below what you want it for and I'll let you know if maybe it'll help I don't want you to go and spend out any money if you don't have to now here is my steamer I love this this is the Bissell steamer I had the shark I liked it it did me good but this is my favorite you can take the floor mop head off of it and you can put brush like a bristle type thing on there and it is it works beautifully I didn't even think about using it when I was doing this it didn't even dawn on me until just now So I also purchased the pink stuff window cleaner. I do like it. I feel like my windows have a film on it. So even though I'm washing them, I'm cleaning them, there's still like this film. So let me know if you guys experience that as well. I do want to put a beautiful old antique window here, or excuse me, mirror here, but I'll have to find it and see if it even works. My mom's husband has one. Here is the bathroom all clean. It is in the evening and I, it just, like I say so many times, it just amazes me more so than it looking clean. It feels clean. It feels so, so good in here. And it helps me prepare for what I want to do in here because I cannot come in here and decorate and renovate when it was as meth messy and filthy as it was. So it is feeling so good. I'm going to put the new toilet seat on ASAP. So it's another day and we are going to officially take the curtains down from these really tall windows and by the way when I was talking just a minute ago I meant to say mirror I can't get the film off the mirror sorry about that so we're gonna get the windows off Chris is gonna get his massive ladder and take it down we are gonna have somebody come and paint I'm really looking forward to that I am also gonna be painting the cabinet so this area needs to be organized desperately but even more so I need to fix the bottom the gentleman put particle board down there and it is just it, it's not in bad shape because I think he replaced the bottom with particle board because there was a leak I don't know the cabinets aren't in the greatest shape that just happens when they're 20 something years old but um, I'm gonna put some floor pops down here and hopefully spruce it up a bit we were pricing out possibly getting an island so we're gonna do the kitchen and stages the pantry's one stage the island is another and then the back along the wall is another um, so I was thinking okay let's go ahead and do the island first because like I had mentioned earlier we need space desperately and we would get additional cabinets on the other side of the island where the bar stools are um, but as the more and more I got into it and pricing it out the price just kept going up and up and up I cannot even believe how much cabinets have gone up just from 2020 they are so inflated so I might just uh, Later on in the video, you'll see we'll be getting some calculations. We might lean towards the pantry sooner than later. Now, 
So these are really easy to install. All you have to do is score the top or the bottom and then just bend it and it breaks right off. The bottom, the back of it is extremely sticky, but it does give you a little time to move around if you need to. Unfortunately, because this is particle board, they would not stick properly. Not the ones in the back, not where I guess there may be some water damage. Now, there was a stain there if you saw. That's actually, that is from me when I was trying to put the soap dispenser underneath. I've never used one before. I didn't know what I was doing. Thank you all for telling me that you feel it from the top. So um, there's definitely some extensive water damage in here. I know this needs to be replaced and, oh goodness, sorry, that's the alarm for the food. Chris is cooking um, a HelloFresh meal, which is awesome. But uh, I just kind of like rigged it. Emma was in the bath when I started, so I thought I had more time, but then she came out. And so I started hurrying, which I know better than to do that, but otherwise nothing will get done as she's standing right behind me. So I had to rig it a little bit. I don't care because next year we're getting a whole, I'm taking this whole thing out, getting an island. There's so much damage. Hi, Boogie Bear. You want to say it? I do. Okay. Say, say good job, Mommy. Say good job, Mommy. Okay, so I'm going to uh, organize everything, but I got to get a couple of containers because she's... Oh, this one. Hold on, please. I've been trying to get into the uh, pods, so I'll have to get a container for that. So I am going to be doing some meal prepping. I have not really had an appetite lately and Chris and I are always trying to eat better and do better. And I decided we have got to meal plan. It's just, we just can't get away from it anymore. We do the HelloFresh meals for us. My kids are very picky eaters, so I don't really have to worry about them. I always include them in the meals, but they generally won't eat them. But 
during the day, I usually don't have an appetite. And then when I do remember to eat, it's too late and I feel like I grab something that I shouldn't. So meal planning is a must for us right now. It's also going to help save money and I eat out. Um, my favorite thing to meal plan is grilled chicken breast, rice, and peppers. I love that. I don't know why. I feel like it heats up very well and I could eat it all the time. So I'm going to do this for both Chris and myself. And of course, if anybody else wants it, they know they are welcome to it, but we know they probably won't eat it. And um, while I'm doing this, I'm making a little bit extra so we can have some for dinner as well. Again, I could eat this all the time, but um, it feels really good starting to meal prep again because it is so necessary. You're stuck inside my head Oh, I can't stop thinking about all the words you said I think I have to let you go Should be easy But it's not I Only problem is I love you What to do? You got me bound Bring a world spin round I love you What to do now? So on this day, we actually had three grocery orders. At Costco, I went to Publix the last minute and I had a Walmart pickup. We usually don't do that, but with it being summer and knowing we want a meal prep, I know I needed a lot of stuff. I just couldn't believe we had three orders. They weren't all terribly big, but I felt like I was putting away groceries all day. But one thing that I like to do is pay attention to the produce and the fruit that is seasonal because it will taste better and I really feel like it helps just vary things a little bit when you're eating. Squash is so good in the summer. Watermelon, you know, those types of fruit are so, and vegetables are so, so good. So if you can, I would Google the list of summer foods and then through each season. They are so good and it helps change things up for you. I love squash. Now, being from the South, we like to deep fry it, but I'm not doing that today. I like to also saute it with always salt and pepper, olive oil, or I've been using avocado oil. That's my new favorite and some garlic and it is so good. It is so good. Um, zucchini as well and another way that it's really tasty is adding Italian seasoning thyme oregano it is so good that way um, so again I'm just sauteing it up a little bit and then I will let it do its thing now I did make a huge thing of rice my ex-husband's mother actually taught me how to make rice and I like to toast it first with seasoning I used to use like better than bouillon or things like that, but I've noticed it upsets my stomach a bit. So I'm just using salt and pepper and garlic. And then I cook it with chicken broth, but I like to toast the washed rice first, give it a little bit of a nutty flavor and then let it cook slowly with the chicken broth. It is so good. I highly recommend you try it like this. Rice is not hard to cook once you get the hang of it. So I got these little containers from TJ Maxx. They're so cute. They have little bees on top of them. I don't know why. They just made me happy. And I'm going to use these scissors. These are specifically, specifically for food. So they get washed very well. But it makes my life so much easier if I got to cut waffles, pizza, chicken breast, sausage for Emma. It does not matter. Get yourself a pair of kitchen shears. Get yourself multiple if you need to. Get them color coded if you want to use them for different things. It will make your life so much easier instead of trying to use a pizza cutter or a knife. You can just use scissors. I'm telling you, it is amazing.
height. We need 30. What? So 36 wide. See, how did it show that early? I wonder if we should just try to find a cabinet, a local cabinet place like that. I don't know. See if there's a place online we can look. So that was us getting all the dimensions on the pantry. I am really trying to make sure I follow through with things that I am wanting to do. I will often say I have a, I have a plethora of good ideas, but my follow through is lacking. So that is something I've been working on so hard. Let me tell you what has helped me tremendously. As I keep falling back into the depression trap and the anxiety trap, the thing that helps me the most, and I want to share it with you stay off of your phone. I don't know why, but the less I'm on my phone, the more productive I am. And then the next thing is move my body, whether I'm going to the gym or I'm just cleaning my house or getting things done. So I have not been as diligent as I want to be going to the gym. And I am trying to get back to it. I still go a couple times a week, but sometimes it's just once. But what I have been doing to help me is just move my body cleaning, running around with the kids, running my errands, um, eating healthier foods. I'm telling you, just move your body. It makes, a, I'm telling you, y'all, it will literally save your life. Um, so now it is the end of the day and food, the meal prepping has been put in the fridge and I am cleaning the kitchen a bit. Chris is outside playing with Emma and then we like to tag team. He'll clean the kitchen, I'll give her a bath or vice versa. Or if we both have something to do, we'll have the older brothers watch her while she's in the bath or, it, uh, or Isabella or Sandra. So that's really nice to get that help every so often. Emma is definitely a mama's girl, so it's very few and far between, but I take it when I can get it. And the next thing I'm doing, I've got these containers now in one of my past videos I did my whole refrigerator with these little squeeze bottles from Amazon I got some slack for it they were like wow you are plastic happy but let me explain something when you have a child who is trying to be self-sufficient or you're trying to encourage them to be self-sufficient and they have issues touching certain things just sensory type of things you're gonna do what works for you and so one thing I have learned, Noah loves his turkey sandwiches, but he hates the mayonnaise and it will prevent him from even making a sandwich. And sometimes I am busy with Emma and I can't get to it right then. And I want to teach him and I want to encourage him to be self-sufficient. There's no cereal in here, baby. You'll see. That container is from Walmart and I had to get that because it was tall, slender, and we usually get our pods from Costco. We don't have as many right now, but I wanted something that was slender so it could fit perfectly under the sink and a lid that Emma can't get into. I also got myself this pink tool, tool bag because I was so stress trying to go through all of Chris's tools to get what I need so I just got my own and it's pink and it's so cute I will say the tools kind of smell weird but I don't care I like it I'm sure it'll wear off the more I use it and it's already come in handy so much so if you're getting ready to do some DIYs and you want to find your own stuff and have your own things this was so cute it was only $29 so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was packed with a lot of different things let me know if you like this type of stuff I like to add varying things to my videos because sometimes just doing the same old thing can get boring to me so it's always cleaning decluttering organizing and decorating but I am throwing some meal prep and just home making motivation in there as well if you're new would you consider hitting that subscribe button I would love to have you join my YouTube family and if no one's told you you are loved the world's a better place because of you and I'm thankful bye guys